What is going on guys? Awesome Richo here back again to another Lego Harry Potter set. This time we've got the Hogwarts Whomping Willow. This is our second set here on the channel so far of another set I got for Christmas of the Whomping Willow set. Of course that goes along with the Hogwarts Castle. So we'll be connecting those or the Hogwarts Great Hall that we did last week. So I'll be putting those together at the end. But here we have the Hogwarts Whomping Willow set 75953. Which again, um, it's a cool looking set. It's kind of disappointing. The only reason I got this was because it attached to the Great Hall set. And if it wasn't for this attaching to that set, I would not get this set at all because I'm not fond of the Whomping Willow. This has a lot of um, like year two stuff because of the Whomping Willow and the Ford Anglia and stuff. And I don't like that. Like um, Chamber of Secrets is one of my least favorites. So anything to do with that, I'm not very interested in. Um, but it's cool, yeah, that they attach together. Um, for characters, we have, if I can show it in here, we have um, Argus Filch, Snape, um, Seamus Finnegan, Hermione, Ron, and of course Harry. So it's cool that we got Seamus. Of course he just looks like a generic kid in here, but it's cool that he's in there. Um, so here we go looking at the back. So as you can see we have part of the great, uh, Hogwarts wall here for the castle and stuff. And then we get the Whomping Willow that does some fun stuff. The Fort Angla and of course characters. So it looks like we have Snape's potion class maybe with different stuff going on here. But then um, we also saw um, somewhere I thought there was a picture that um, shows Hermione doing, oh, I guess it's in the front, so maybe that's some completely different, you know, just on the side of the wall. I thought maybe it was in um, Charms class or whatever when they're doing with Guardian Leviosa on the feather there. Um, but yeah, it looks like we just have a bunch of potions class and stuff, and then we also do have part of Gryffindor Tower here with the bedroom for Ron and uh, Harry and everything and so you can see different little stuff going on over there and then of course there at the top we have the connection of the two sets um, attaching together so after we put this all together and build it and everything I will be attaching them at the end to show you what that looks like with both of the sets together so let's go ahead and get into it And it is now complete and it's 
you know, as I mentioned earlier, the set is kind of small and not very, uh, like, interactive or attractive or anything. Like, it's not kind of bland and boring. But I like the, some of the stuff going on with it. So let's go and look at So we'll start with our characters. So we'll start off here with Ron to start off here. So again, this is just a normal Ron character. We saw Ron in the last set for the Hogwarts Castle, and they come in all these sets we're going to be doing. Um, but we have Ron here, and he's in, like, um, his sweater shirt with a red sweater on underneath. Again, this is what he looks like when he picks Harry up from the Dursleys in the flying car. So there is Ron, of course, holding his wand there. And then we have Harry, of course, with his uh, bushy, messed up red hair, or <laughs> red hair, black hair. You can see the lightning bolt scar in between his hair there, of course, his glasses. And then him, he is in just like a flannel shirt with a t-shirt on underneath, of course, and his wand there. Again, exactly how he's picked up from the Dursley's house by Ron and the Weasleys. Then we have Hermione here, which again looks just like the other Hermione that we got. She's in the Gryffindor sweater, and you can see the um, tie on underneath with the you know shirt, a uh, button-up shirt underneath the sweater with the Gryffindor stripe there on it. She's got her bushy blonde hair, or brown hair, I'm going to get colors right eventually, and then her wand there as well. And then the other character we got was Seamus Finnegan, which of course to me doesn't look anything like it, but I don't know how you could really tell. He's just got the Gryffindor sweater on, as same as Hermione, a wand, and then he's got the hair with freckles on his face, which Seamus is like a kind of like a redhead because he is from Ireland stuff, so they give him like kind of like a red hair and stuff designs. And then, but he's got brown hair in this one. Um, of course, it's hard to tell in the movie stuff. I don't know how he's described in the book, but he just looks like a generic character there. Then for teachers, we have Professor Snape here, which of course I like the shirt design and stuff, so it looks like he's got the robe on, with a purple uh, shirt on underneath, which I've never really seen. Usually Snape's just wearing all black, so I like that they switch it up. He's got an all black wand there, which I like that. Then of course he has his greasy black hair, as you can see there, long style, and of course he has a weird look on his face. And again, they all have additional faces, usually they're like, um, angry faces or scared faces or something um, but I'm not going to go through and show all them. Then we have a Filch here so we got Filch with his blonde hair or blonde bald head again I can't say words today bald head with of course he has a few little hairy wisps on top there then of course longer hair on the sides and back there then he's got his old man face there with a bunch of wrinkles, gray hair and everything, sideburns and all that. Then he's just in his normal suit, he got black pants a uh, Per, uh, green vest on over a white shirt then of course a gray cloak or coat on over the top then he's got a lantern there just like Hagrid had in the last set um, then we'll go and start with so we have the Fort Anglia so as you can see for the front there and the sides and everything and the back so I like the license plate on the 7990TD and the card just looks pretty good and pretty similar to how the card does so of course we have headlights we have the um, hood of the car, or at least what we call the hood of the car. Um, the, um, some rear view mirrors and stuff are, are what's supposed to be rear view mirror design stuff. Of course, the windshield and the doors that do open, so you can open each of the doors um, in there. I feel the inside feels kind of empty and bare, but maybe that's just how it is, and I feel there should be something there, but I don't know if I missed something or what. I'll have to go back and look in the instructions make sure I didn't miss any pieces or anything that go into the car there, but to get characters in easily, you can take the hood off and, you know, put the characters down inside there or the roof of the car off and put it back on so it just attaches there then we have the trunk of the car of course we have the brake lights and stuff and then we got trunk of the car with baggage inside of it um, our little suitcases in there as you can see so that's cool that's got that then of course the wheels and everything so it does roll and of course flies woo, and everything so that's pretty fun then we've got the Whomping Willow here which of course is just a um, built tree out of Lego um, kind of cool and interesting so it has this design thing where you can twist it out of course to do the whomping willow whompings and stuff um but it's you know kind of plain and basic as uh, we have the little hide hole of course or the hole where they go into that leads to the shrieking shacks so you can obviously you know like take a character and stick them into the hole of course ron's got his wand out so it'll be hard to fit in there but you can fit characters in there and as you can see if you set it you, you can just get them out easily if you put them in there um, so, let's see what else. It's just basic design. Um, you can obviously then take the car and crash it into there and make the car crash into the tree. And then you can even spin it around if you want to for the willow to womp. Um, but of course it um, has some issues and stuff. The car is kind of too heavy so it kind of pushes down the branches and stuff. But we'll set that aside and we'll move the characters aside now to look at the actual castle wall. So again, it's not that interesting and stuff. So we have this entranceway here. 
which of course you can take and drive the car through so that's why it's got the little track marks and stuff and of course this castle design is based off the castle they used in the first two movies um, so they used um, what walls were in there and stuff and they had this little archway opening and stuff into the castle um, but yeah so it, you can drive the car through there if you wanted to but here's a lookout from the outside obviously I can't get the whole tower in there but it's just a nice castle wall so obviously you take characters and stand them along and they stand like a um, kind of like a cool castle design stuff but we'll flip it around and see everything that is on the inside we'll start from this side first so over here again we have what I would assume to be Snape's uh, potions class is what this all seems to be on the bottom here so we have a desk in there again it's hard to see with all a desk a candle a bunch of vials and canisters stuff a table with um, a daily profit on it and it says the boy who lives stuff then we have you know a quill and stuff a thing for swish or for uh, Wingardium Livio so there a little pamphlet and a lamp there and there's like a tools and stuff in there and I like these lanterns that we hang on you'll see more of them in a second but I like those hanging on and stuff and of course the window in the back adds some more design and detail and so we have that and of course with each of these you can kind of mix and match them because they have additional pegs here so you can switch them and attach them I feel that this would be better down on the other side just so it kind of sticks it all together but that's where it wanted you to put it in the design and stuff then we'll go to the far piece to continue on again with potions design. So we have a table here with a cauldron making stuff, another cauldron with a stick for stirring, a candle there, and then again in the back more of the shelves with vials and stuff on it and the canisters of different things and there's more of those lanterns and then the, uh, the attachments obviously to attach it to the great hall set from earlier. And then we have the center piece, the mid tower part, which again has more what looks to be potion class. So I like, also there's pictures in the background, so you can see the picture there of the person in the back. There's one on this side as well, and one back in there in the Snape's like office area. Um, so I, I like those pictures and stuff there. And again, I like the window design ads. Looks really nice. And then of course the uh, shelves with all the canisters and vials and stuff for potions all look really nice and stuff it looks really cool I like the design a lot it feels a lot like potions and stuff then we go into what I again would assume to be Gryffindor tower common room or the bedroom for Gryffindor's um, Harry and Ron's bedroom but again doesn't look too great in the back it's got a a, po or a flag there with the Gryffindor logo and stuff on it a candle and then two beds so you can take obviously Ron and Harry and stick them into bed so they have a feet thing on the on the bed so you can obviously take and push their feet into it so then they're laying there in the bed and they won't fall off or anything. So oh, the whole bed just comes off instead of the character. Come on Harry, get out of bed. There we go. Then at the very top of the tower here we have what I assume to be an owlery. So we have an owl here with like Hedwig obviously since it's the white owl sitting there on a post. Then we have what looks to be a quill and parchment here so you can you know make notes and have the owl deliver it um, for you and everything. So that's you know all that really is to the castle. Then of course you can see the back side where you can you know have characters walk along and everything so like I said I feel with this um, the way that's designed this should be moved over here so that way you have all the potion stuff right there together into the bottom um, but that's just the way they want you to design it or to put it together at least by the box and everything so now that we've done that I'm gonna go ahead and grab the great hall and I'm gonna take it and attach it on here so you can see what it looks like all together and I think it'll be cool to see that as well so let me get that and here it is together. I kind of don't like this very much. I think I'd have to maybe switch the pegs, although I don't know if I can exactly here because it gives you two in like spots like this, so I may have to switch it to another one. So obviously here's the great hall that we did in the last video, and then of course here's the new part that we have attached. And again, um, so you can just take in, like I said, I feel may need to plug it into this one so that way it fits more flat, or I think it may look even better if I did um, like take this part off again and uh, if I have to put the pegs in it and then attach it there, I think that would probably look a lot better than it'd be extra long down on the side that you can't see on the camera, unfortunately. Um, but that, yeah, I think may look a little bit better um, put together that way. Yeah, I think it may fit a little bit better. Not exactly sure. I'll have to obviously like test it out and try it and everything, but I think that looks super cool. Having the super long uh, castle again, I wish I could fit it all in here for you, um, but I can't with the way the my camera works and stuff but it looks super cool so we have the great hall of course from last set and the new set there to um together in one big set so that's gonna be it for this episode of the hogwarts whomping willow harry potter lego set build set 75953 so i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to let me know in the comments down below 
don't forget to check out the last video of the Hogwarts Great Hall that you can see from last week. And then we'll have another video coming up probably in the next week or two of the last Lego Harry Potter set that I got for Christmas, which is the Hogwarts Express set, which again looks really cool and stuff. And I can't wait to get that build. So I hope you'll check that as well. So go ahead if you want to subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Again, leave a like on the video if you did. Leave me a comment you have down below. And of course, as I said, subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time.